Endless Butterflies, yes, today we are back with the very last part of Butterfly Kisses on the episode Choose Your Story. But if you have not seen the other ones, catch up on the playlist right here. This is it. The last chapter, we saw the finale, which was so positive, so good. Gia and Miles are getting the happy ending they deserve. He's going to New York with her. She got her internship with her fashion institute. The charges against Miles have been dropped. Bonnie's doing good. Everyone is doing real good right now. The dresses that Gia had made turned out gorgeous. They are finally getting to be together after all that they've been through. I'm so happy, but I'm so sad because it's the last chapter. And it's so hard always parting with stories that I love so much, but it has to come to an end sometime. But this was such a beautiful story. But I'll save my thoughts for the very end of the chapter. So let's get into this. The last one's the finale, so I'm guessing this is the epilogue. So we're going to see what happens here. But I hope you guys enjoyed the series. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please consider leaving a like on the video as it helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already for more stories and other video games. And without further ado, let's start the drama. Oh, there's Sugar with the blue butterfly. Five years later. Okay, I'm a little shook because it's so weird not starting the story with a flashback from their childhood. Now we have their future. Okay, this looks very fashion-y. This is given fashion. I want the runway lights dimmed and everyone in their seats in two minutes. Make it happen. No, 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 no. Her makeup isn't right. I said big lashes and winged liner. Get it right. The show started in less than 30 minutes. This is crunch time, people. My name is on the line. One mistake and you'll be dealing with me. Oh, Chrissy, do you have a problem? No, we can't have problems, Chrissy McCain. Not today. One of the models accidentally ripped the seam of her dress. <gasps> She'll have to have it sewn, be sewn into it then. Hurry, where is she? Oh, it's Chrissy. Here you are, Mr. Madden. Gia made sure you got the best seat in the house. Thanks. Wait, you left something. Oh, no, she left that for you. Security knows me, right? Of course, sir. Good. Let them going backstage. Uncle Miles. Gracie. Hey, Miles. Ready for Gia's big date. Cora. Is that Howard? InStyle Magazine called her New York Fashion Week's hottest new designer. I think I'm more ready than she is, actually. This has been a long time coming for her. So she got her dream. She's a big fashion designer now. And five years later, too. Not like 10 or 25. She's killing it. And Howie has... Are you about to cry already? No, don't cry, Uncle Miles. I'm all right, but it did hurt my feelings when you set us up last week. What happened? Dad said I couldn't go since I stayed up too late watching TV. Too much TV isn't good for you anyway. Can we go this week instead? Well, Jonah has been wanting to go to the Botanical Gardens. We're going to see the butterflies. Maybe we'll even find the special blue one this time. Really? How do you know it's special? One day I'll tell you all about it. So is that Howard supporting? He has a beautiful girlfriend or wife, and he has a cute daughter. Okay, and so Gia's doing fashion, and Chrissy... Is working with her, I think. Wow. Wow. Isn't he just the sweetest with her? The big bad hitman turns into a puddle of mush when it comes to my niece. I guess Mouse was always right. That was just a stupid, meaningless nickname. You know, sometimes I think she likes you more than me. That's because she does. <laughs> right, Gracie? Right. Uncle Miles has a cool drawing to deliver him. Why don't you have any daddy? Because I'm a respectable man. Respectable is a bit of a stretch. Okay, so they get a look. Miles and Howie are in much better terms these days. They still hate each other, but now it's in a brotherly kind of way. Okay. Howie ended up getting his life together and met a very nice woman. She is gorgeous, too. It's like true love flipped a switch within him. He's found a great job that has he's actually kept for over two years now. No more strip clubs, no more begging for handouts and trying to live off our parents. It's like he's a different person now. It was a surprise to see him so vulnerable and sweet with his family. The way he cares for his wife reminds me of the way my dad cares for my mom. Devoted and unconditionally. Cheers for Howard getting it together. I'm proud of him. Daddy, guess what? Uncle Miles is taking me to the gardens next week. Yeah, yeah. See the butterflies. 
You and Cora should come with us sometime. We'd love to. Sure, we'll make it a family thing. Yay, family day with the butterflies. Grace has been the most wonderful addition to our little family. She's gifted wise far beyond her years. She's the smartest four-year-old I've ever seen, but I'm taking some credit for that since she helped me study while I babysat. Being an aunt has brought joy to my life in such an unexpected way. Miles has become such an adoring uncle that sometimes I sit and dream of the wonderful father. He'll be one day. Okay. I'll be right back. I need to see Gianna before the show. Tell Aunt Gigi I'm wearing the dress she made me for my birthday. You got it, Gracie. And that we're very proud of her. This is cute. This is real cute. Um, I'm sorry. I must have ate too much cake at the party last night. I've been on a strict diet to fit this dress, and now look, you have to sew me into it. This is so embarrassing. You went on a diet to fit into this dress? Yeah, it's an honor to walk in your show. I'm a huge fan of yours. Don't you ever do that again, you hear me, huh? These are just clothes. You don't change yourself to fit them. You are perfect the way you are. If you were really a fan, you would know that's why I created an all-inclusive brand in the first place. It doesn't matter your shape or size. You can always find something that makes you feel beautiful in my line. I just feel so terrible for ripping the dress. It didn't rip because you ate too much cake last night. It ripped because this was sloppy stitch work to begin with. Christy McKay, who was responsible for this? I don't know. There's no time to think. Show starting in 15 minutes. I'll get you a better dress, okay? Really? One that was stitched by yours truly. Yeah. Aw, Gia's wonderful. This is it, the moment you've been waiting for since you were a little girl playing dress up in your room. You made it and you deserve it. You're strong, you're beautiful inside and out. You've overcome every obstacle standing in your way. And this show will prove to all those young girls struggling with their bodies that they can overcome too. I am so proud of her right now. Ah. Hey, get your filthy paws off me. Security. Oh, oh, what the hell, Gianna? Oh my gosh, Miles. I thought you were <laughs> my, oh no, did I hurt him? Yeah, I'm sorry. Is he okay? Well, I know a very few, I know a few ways you can make him feel better. Oh, uh, moving to New York ends up being the best decision we ever made. I'm just so happy this is like so cute. <gasps> Miles took his opportunity of a lifetime and opened up Metamorphosis 2 right in the middle of Manhattan. It turned into an even bigger success than he imagined. People from all over the world travel here just to get a tattoo from the famous Miles Madden. He made the difficult decision of leaving the original Metamorphosis to Kendrick and Gage, who are back in Mariposa thriving as new business owners. Good for them. Come on, just one smile for me. It's not that serious, love. I've already done this with the first place, you know. So what? This represents everything bigger and better that is to come to us. I'm celebrating all of your accomplishments just like you celebrate mine. Fine, get over here and smile with me then. It took us a while to get to this point. Moving here was hard at first. The big changes and uncertainty really messed with my head and my recovery. I fell, but not completely because someone was there to catch me this time. Ooh, the internship with the Fashion Institute took a huge toll on my mental health. Not only was my newfound arch nemesis ex-best friend out to get me, oh no, not nemesis, but I was also in a new city, one that never sleeps, being thrown into an industry filled with perfect models and overly critical designers. Unknowingly, I was slowly slipping back into some old bad habits. Miles noticed a change in me almost insolent and refused to let me push him away, which I realized now was everything I needed. Butterfly, I made you breakfast if you're up for it today. I just need to be alone. I'm not leaving you alone. We get through everything together. I'm losing myself again, Miles. You can lean on me. I won't ever let you get lost. What do you need from me? I'll do anything. Is it time to call Daniel? Yeah. I struggled for a while, but Daniel and Miles reassured me that I would make it through just like I have done time and time again. Daniel was only a phone call away and reminded me that this relapse didn't make me failure and moving beyond it is what counts the most, period. Hey, sis. Howie! He wanted to visit. Aside from being a great husband and father, Howie showed me that he could be a great brother too. He finally showed up for me. He got wind of my setback and flew to New York almost immediately. That's so sweet. I felt him struggling to figure out the right words to say he was anxious and didn't know how to handle it. It's a touchy situation for anyone. 
But him just sitting with me was more than good enough. For the first time in my life, he was my brother. Howie in this epilogue made one of the biggest turnarounds. Wow. I am proud of him and Gia, of course, for all that she's done. But I'm very, very proud of Howie. Miles adores you. Grace looks up to you like her favorite Disney princess. You're proving mom and dad wrong and they're finally off your ass. We all love you, Gia. You just gotta love yourself because we need you. We need you healthy. I know. I'm not sure I could. I would have made without their support, especially mine. He did this cute thing where he left little notes of affirmations all over our loft. That's adorable. He said they were reminders, so I never, ever forget how special I am. He made me feel so secure that I stopped consuming myself with my imperfections. Instead, I started believing his affirmations. Because if Miles thinks I'm so great, then maybe I am. Everyone needs to feel this way. I want everyone in the world to be able to feel this way. Just that they're amazing. It forced me to take a long look at myself in the mirror and vow to no longer care about living up to everyone else's standards. I just focused on being me. And after the success I achieved with my clothing line, I understood that's all I ever needed to be. My crazy passionate self. Since then, things between Miles and I have been, dare I say, perfect. We still bicker back and forth like we always have. It's kind of our thing. But we don't fight. Things never get out of control. We've learned to communicate without yelling and jumping to conclusions. Our love has conquered all and there's no reason to fight that any longer. Miles has done everything, anything and everything to show me how important I am to him and I have accepted that I am deserving of that love. Somewhere along the way, we found our own version of perfect. It may not be everyone else's, but I love our love and I wouldn't have it any other way. Miles, Miles, gosh, I love you so much. I can't get enough. Uh, Gia, you two may want to stop before you get started. We can hear you through the earpiece and the show starting in five, five minutes. Oh my gosh, stop distracting me with your kisses. I gotta go. I love you, Miles. I could have done this without you. Don't stress too much. You're incredible in every way. I'll be in the front row cheering you on. Oh, so everything is so cute. Gia, oh my gosh, everyone's here, Telly. Don't tell me you got all famous and forgot about where you started. Josie, oh my gosh, I can't believe you guys flew all the way here. Of course we did, we couldn't miss all this. Danny Boy's here too. I could cry start seeing you guys. Don't, we can't have your mascara running on your big day. Claudia is watching from home. She wants you to know what an inspiration you are to all of us. I remember our first group session. You lit up talking about your dreams of being a designer. You showed us all that recovery is possible and we can go on to accomplish anything we want. Told you so. We always knew you'd make it. Gee, where are you? We're lining up the models. I gotta go show starting. Please stay. I want to show you my favorite places in New York. You sure you're not too busy for us little people? You guys are family. At times, you were here for me more than my actual family. And I could never forget that people who helped me at my darkest times. Go on. You have half a year waiting out there for you. Oh, that's sweet that they showed up. This is such a big deal. Oh my gosh. Okay, everyone's here walking in five, four, three, two, go, go, go. Remember, show off the dress while you walk. Okay, this is it. Fashion show. Let's look at her pieces. People are loving it. Oh, it's gorgeous. Ooh, I love the colors. Okay. Okay, Miss Gia. Giving us a whole fashion show for free over here. Okay, everyone's liking it. Good, good, good. Ooh. Okay, I like this one. This is gorgeous. I don't know. I just love it. The other one was gorgeous too. I don't know why I like this one so much. Thanks again for this opportunity. Go now. <laughs> you're welcome. Now show them what you're working with, girl. And she looks absolutely stunning in her dress. Okay, walk, mama, walk. I love that everyone's loving it so much. Why aren't you ready yet? Don't you know whose dress you're wearing? Gia Moon, she's going to be featured in Vogue one day. Do you want to know what's the model who messed up her first fashion show? No, I don't think so. No, go put on some lipstick. All right, now where's the final model for inspection? Aw, Chrissy. Never in a million billion years would I have thought that Chrissy McCann and I would be working together. But she's proved me wrong. I was on the search for an assistant, and to my surprise, Chrissy ended up being the one to show up for the interview. 
I was reluctant to hire her at first, but it felt good to have someone from home be my on my side while navigating this industry. She's turned out to not only be a great assistant, but a better friend than I thought she could be. The show would have been a mess without her help along the way. Chrissy's really been there for me and I cherish her for that. That was so sweet. Not only did they work together, now they're good friends. But I'm still a little tough on her because I'll never forget that one time she accused me of stealing and locked me out of our apartment. Are you ready? The models are almost done and it'll be time for you to go out there. Maybe I should change. My red dress will look better on me. You don't need to be worried about that. Check your phone. You're trending. Everyone's raving about the new all-inclusive brand to take over the industry. Oh my gosh. That's my name. Those are my designs. Now get out there and show them the beautiful face that's behind all this. It's time for you to shine. This is her moment. Aw. Go Gia. That's sweet that her and Chrissy became good friends. Okay, Miss Gia, it's time for you to walk out there. The face. She's got this. Ooh, they have butterflies and everything. That was beautiful. Oh my gosh. We love you, Aunt Gigi. That's my girl. So proud of you, butterfly. That's my girl. So proud, sweetheart. I can't believe we're watching our daughter on TV. We wouldn't have to be watching the television if you got plane tickets in time. How was I supposed to know Fashion Week was such a big deal? It's the biggest deal for Gianna. She's going to be a star. Look how far our girl has come. And the development of Adora. I wasted so much time doubting her when I should have been encouraging her. But that's okay. It all worked out. Gia's trending. Oh my gosh. Look, I know her. I know someone famous. She used to work right here handing out greasy burgers and now she's walking a runway. Drew, get back to work. You congratulate Gia tomorrow when she comes in for the party. Aw, she's that's so sweet. Hell yeah, Gia. I always knew you had it in you. Oh, Malcolm. Who is this gorgeous? Get off your phone and come enjoy the waves, babe. You remember my friends Gia and Miles from Mariposa that I was telling you about? They are famous. <laughs> You need a tissue, man? No, the lights are just too bright in here. Please, Uncle Miles, you can't be sad. It just means I'm happy, Gracie. Very, very happy. Thank you, thank you all. I did it. I really did it. Oh, she did. She did. Oh, Butterfly Kisses. We're here with Miles Matt, an award-winning tattoo artist and owner of Venomorphosis 2. How does it feel to see Gia's designs on the runway tonight? Oh, it's called Butterfly Kisses. She's like, ooh. I can't even explain it. I always knew this is where she ended up, so it's incredible to finally see her living her dreams. How sweet. Do you have a favorite dress you've seen tonight? I'd have to say the one she's wearing. No one pulls off her designs better than she does. Not even the models. They're great, but not as great as her. Speaking of... You two were named one of Manhattan's hottest couples this year. Your story of being in love since you were kids and waiting for her all those years to return is probably the sweetest thing I've ever heard. So I have to ask, will we be hearing wedding bells in the future? If we were, you sure as hell wouldn't be the first to know. <laughs> Miles, be nice to the press. Ah, oh, there she is, the woman we've all been waiting for. No one as much as me. Aw, I've been looking all over for you. Did you see me? Did you see me on the runway? I didn't even trip. Of course I saw I couldn't take my eyes off you. You should have saved yourself the time we just modeled all the clothes yourself. You stole the show, love. Chris said it was a major success. A few buyers were in the crowd and are already putting in orders. I never want to hear you doubt yourself again, Gianna. This is proof that I was right all along. You're extraordinary. You're unbelievably extraordinary and I'll be here to remind you of that every time you forget. Aww. Okay, okay, let's not give them too much of a show. G over here, tell us the inspiration behind the butterflies. What's wrong? Nothing. You deserve to have the spotlight all yourself. I'll be right back. Do you know who I am? Nova. We know and we don't care. I try telling her she's not allowed. I'll handle it. Miles, it's been a while. That suit is nice. Heard it from Malcolm lately. We talk every day. Oh, and how has he been since moving to L.A.? He's been amazing since he dropped you. <gasps> ah! Go, got engaged last fall to a great woman who will give him the love he deserves. Engaged? Um, well, good for him. Anyway, where's Gia? I'd like to congratulate her. The show was better than expected. Don't pretend like you care. You'll take any chance to bring her down, and I will not let you ruin her night. Now get out. Nova. 
I tried so hard to put my feelings aside when we first started the internship together. She did and said terrible things to me, but I wanted to be the bigger person so we could maybe have a fresh start. Well, screw that. Sometimes being the bigger person only gets you hurt more. Miles says she hates me in the name of jealousy. She was my only friend as long as she thought I was beneath her, but now I have everything she wants, so she's become bitter and takes it out on me. But I don't understand why since she's found a lot of success in her own right. She's now one of the top editors of a well-known fashion magazine. Her articles and features can make or break you in this industry. But she can try to break me all she wants because I'm not backing down. I've worked too damn hard to get here and she will not take it away from me. Nova, not tonight, please. This is the most important night of my life. Just let me have this. I'm not doing anything other than my job. With all the hype surrounding the youngest designer to show in Fashion Week, I just had to get a glimpse. I'm sure you know that one article on me could send your career into the stars or into the gutter. So I'd be a little nicer to someone who holds that much power if I were you. You're talking like you're some evil villain or something. Get a grip. Your jealousy reeks and it's embarrassing. Oh, shut up, Miles. I need tattoo advice. I'll come to you, but this is fashion. Ugh. No, it was gross. Miles and I have worked very hard to make sure our temper standard control. But every once in a while, we're forced to remind a bitch who they're messing with. You shut up. We'll really have a problem if you keep talking to him like that. I haven't done anything wrong and you're still trying to take me down after all these years. Why? Because she's miserable. I can't stand seeing you living the life she wants. That's not true. I, I live a wonderful life. I have the best designer clothes and more money than I need in a whole lifetime. But you have no friends. You drove away all the people who really cared about you. One day when you look around at your life and wonder why you're so alone. Remember this moment. Remember all the times you hurt your only friend. I will not be alone. You're the one who's jealous. You think you have it all. But Miles will get sick of you sooner or later and then you'll be left with nothing. Please, I'm not worried about that. You don't, we kind of got a flight to catch. You may have success to show tonight, but that'll only last so long. I'll ruin you before you even get started. Look over here, Nova, the editor of Fashion Bazaar is attacking Gia Moon. Oh, looks like we got a rivalry on our hands. The claws are out tonight, and I'm not just talking about this hideous leopard print coat. Looks like Gia Moon might be taking Nova's spot as the word on fashion, period. What do you have to say for yourself? Get her, Chrissy. Yeah, run away crying, you vile creature. Bye, bitch! Now stay out of my life. Gia, please no calling people in front of the press. F the press, I am who I am. Take it or leave it. I think I've just fallen in love with you all over again. I love you for never taking shit from anyone. Nova means nothing. Exactly. I can't believe Nova never made her comeback and her recovery. I'm a little sad about that. That she ended up being just vile. Yeah, there, there's nothing else to her. She's she's just mean. I know she has a lot of problems and stuff, but it's been years and people try to be there for her and she's still just being mean. I think she's just kind of mean. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else to it. You are Gianna Moon. You are a butterfly. You're a butterfly. Ready to go home. Yeah, I've missed it. <gasps> Emmy and Gage! Gage, don't let go. I got you. You're not gonna fall. You still haven't figured out the skates, huh? Gia! Miles! Oh my gosh, I've missed you so much. Please come back. My repose is the same without you. Leave them be. Gia and Miles are meant for bigger things in this town has to offer. I already have a few designs ready for your wedding dress, Emmy. We'll talk about them over lunch before I go back. I hope I'm not asking too much. You probably have a bunch of celebrities to dress now that your show was so huge. The celebrities can wait. Friends come first. I'd be honored to dress you for your wedding. You're still going to be my best man, right? Does that mean I have to give some mushy speech at the reception? No, you don't have to if you don't want to. No speech and you and Kendrick can be my best man one day. Deal? Deal. I always knew we were your best friends. You just needed time to accept it. You gotta come visit us in New York one day. You'll love it there. I've never left California before. You can stay as long as you want. There's so much to do in the city. I'd love to, Gia. If Roy will give me time off. I'll have Bonnie put in a good word for you. I love that she's still friends with them all. With everyone. Oh, Adora! What's wrong? This is supposed to be a party. I just feel so terrible that we couldn't be at your show. Bling dad. It's okay. Did you watch what you think? We watched every second of it. I'm so proud you were beautiful up there. Look at Adora. She looks gorgeous in this outfit. And seeing those dresses on the runway, the dresses that you made. I'm speechless, my girl. I should have never put all the pressure on you to be something you're not. Oh my gosh, I almost took away your passion. The world would have never gone to see Gianna Moon's design. I've forgiven you, Ma. 
we both grown and don't need to live in the past when we're so much better now. Where's daddy? What does he think? He cried. Oh, so what? It's not every day you get to see your little girl on TV. I even bought every copy of all the fashion magazines that mentioned you. <laughs> and then proceeded to tell the entire grocery store that his daughter is now famous. That's so sweet. I promise you almost any more of your show, sweetheart. The butterflies are such a beautiful touch. I guess I never realized how much they impacted you. They're very special to Miles and I. Wait, where is he? Right here. Aw, oh, missed you, son. Missed you too, Jen. You two don't visit enough. We need to see you more than a few times a year. How about we set up another fishing trip soon? Okay, so they've recovered. That is adorable. Fishing, again. Things with the parents are so much better these days. Fishing again? After my relapse, dad was a wreck, even more than mom this time. He thought I was going to end up in the hospital again and almost made me move back to Mariposa. But he saw Miles step up and care for me and love me back together again. Their relationship changed from that point forward. He no longer held his arrest against him and they became much closer. Good. I am so happy. Almost like father and son. We came back to Mariposa a few times a year, and Dad takes Miles out to the pond and they try their best to catch some fish. It's funny seeing Miles out of his comfort zone, but that father love was something I know he was missing deeply. Mom and I usually stay back and watch them make a fool of themselves while we sip wine and gossip about life. When I'm not in town, she calls every day, aww, and I always pick up. Because now she doesn't doubt me or pressure me or make me feel like I have something to live up to. She's become my best friend. We have a new and improved relationship where I want to share everything with her. Things fell into place just as they were supposed to. We all just needed time to grow. This is such a beautiful epilogue. Come on, Tony, we need to have fried pickles on deck already. They're Gia's favorite. Vinny, you're a mess. I accidentally <laughs> spilled another milkshake. Oh, Vinny's there. Told you to stick to the gym, Vin. My Miles is back. Oh, I missed you so much. Just back for a few days, Mom. We have a lot going on in New York that we need to get back to. I know, I know. You don't need to remind me. Just let me enjoy these few days. Where's my soon-to-be daughter-in-law? She's out there catching up with everyone. Oh, gosh, look at her. I swear she gets more beautiful every time I see her. That's what I think every morning when I wake up. What are, when are you doing it? Ma, not now. Oh, come on. What are you guys waiting for? You guys are basically married. Just make it official. I went a wedding and then lots of grandbabies. Lots. You two would make the most gorgeous kids. Don't rush them. They're still young. They have their whole lives ahead of them. Things been better for you, Vin? Yeah, your mother keeps them busy. Busy with what exactly? I just meant paradise has been packed lately. We used to be such good friend, Miles. Will you ever let me live down that mistake I made? No. But I do appreciate you being such a good friend to my mother. Look, sweetie, Drew helped me change my wallpaper to you and G on the red carpet. Wow, we look so happy. Okay, that's cute. That's real cute. I don't see the ring on her finger. What happened? You said you were going to propose after she was done with school. It's not the right time. You've had the ring for over three years, man. You two have been in love your entire lives. Why wait any longer? Don't tell me you're getting cold feet. Never. Our love isn't going anywhere. She's waited her whole life to show it fashion week. I don't want to take the excitement away of that. This is her moment and she deserves to live in it for a while. It would just end up being overshadowed by an engagement. You're a good guy, Miles. A lot of us would die for a love like you two have. So sweet. So don't wait too long, all right? Wait too long for what? Nothing. Congrats on the show, Butterfly Tattoo. Thanks, Ken. Love the new wink. Want to get out of here for a second? Our spot. Oh, wow. It's just how I remember it. Hasn't changed a bit. Brings back so many memories. Ah, careful, love. This place is run down. Careful, you two. It can be dangerous back there. Let's go to the pier. Okay, before it gets too dark. Hurry, I'll race ya. You know why my dad named the roller ring paradise? Why? He said he wanted it to be a place that people go to find their happiness, like their very own heaven on earth. Wow. Sometimes I think he's wrong, though. The roller rink is fun and all, but I'm most happy here with you. This can be our own paradise, Miles. We'll always find our happiness here with each other. Promise. Promise. Why are you so quiet? Just thinking about all the fun times we've had together. Remember when I told you that one day we would be able to stay like this forever? This is it. This is our forever. We kept our promise to each other. Somehow, even as a kid, I just knew we would end up right back here in our own little paradise. Oh, and they lived happily ever after in the blue butterfly that was with endless butterflies. This story was gorgeous. 
And that is the end of Butterfly Kisses. That was such a beautiful epilogue. I am so happy Miles and Gia got their happily ever after. They deserved it. And so many characters, minus one, got a happily ever after too. It was so beautiful how um, Brie brought all back the characters so we could see everybody, even like Vinny, Bonnie, Drew. That was so nice. I loved the story. Now it's my thoughts. Spoiler alert, I just said it. I love this story. I thought it was absolutely beautiful, like all of Brie's stories are. She is one of my favorite authors on the episode app. I think every story that I've read that she's written has been beautiful. So I would like to take a moment to say a big special thank you to Brie for letting me react to her stories on my channel. Thank you so much, Brie. It means the world to me, and you are such an amazing author. If you have not already... Open your episode app and go read her stories and support her. An amazing author. I'm so sad the story is over, but I am so happy to have been able to finish and read it because it was amazing. Five stars for me. Five out of five. What did you guys think? Let me know of your thoughts. Who were your favorite characters? Who did you not like? What was your favorite part? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you to everyone, whether you watched just one video on the series or the whole series or two minutes, no matter what. Thank you so much for watching as always. And I hope to see you in future videos. Thank you so much again, everyone. Bye.